hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video so today i'm doing something just a little a little bit different um y'all have seen my dorm tour hopefully and if you haven't make sure y'all check that out after this video but we are about to, to get into our community bathroom tour and i am going to give y'all some tips about being in a community bathroom as well as showing y'all my day and night routine um and like go over some common rules i guess you could like a bye bye like when you're sharing a bathroom so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and let's get right into the footage for my night routine so i typically start off my night by clearing off my bed and clearing off my desk and just getting everything that i need ready so i'm moving my laptop and everything over before plugging up my phone because i do charge my phone at night sometimes i don't like charge it throughout the night because you know that's a bit wild uh but yeah here's my bed and now i'm gonna go ahead and clear off my desk and just put it on my laundry away nighttime and right before bed is honestly the perfect time to just decompress i don't know why that word came to my head but just you know calm down from the rest of the day and just make sure everything's in order so when you wake up in the morning everything is exactly where it needs to go so now it's time to get my pajamas so y'all can really get into this community bathroom routine okay period um yeah get in my soap and i keep everything here on this cart this is my little uh what is that my little shower caddy and i don't have a big one and that one works just fine so i just put all of my stuff in there at night i typically only take my toothbrush soap and my face wash and then the clothes and towels that i need so here i am just getting my towel this is where i keep them if you have not seen my dorm tour make sure to check that out later like i said earlier and i do have to roll it up in order to fit it into the bag you know do what you need to do uh yeah so now i just gotta put on my do-rag uh this is how i tie my hair down at night lol i put on my do-rag and i typically put my bonnet on over it after like i'm done showering but i gotta fix this and then put my shower cap on on top of it because that's what's actually gonna protect my hair from the water and like i said these are just some of the steps that i take before i get in the shower and then i take my jewelry off before putting on my shower shoes um yeah don't go into the bathroom barefooted okay period so get your key card because you don't want to lock yourself out of the room that's going to be tragic and i don't be wanting to have to find my ra to get her to open the door but now that we're in the bathroom i'm going to give you all a little tour real quick so to the left we do have like toilet seat covers and then bathroom stalls i think it's about four or five stalls and then we have all the different shower stalls and we actually have a tub in our bathroom there it is i don't use it anyways but this is what the shower looks like there is two different parts uh the shower and then like the seating area but let's go ahead and get into the routine of starting off with brushing my teeth when i typically come into the bathroom that's like the first thing i do before i get ready to wash my face and if you make make a spill make sure to clean it up and actually throw your trash away period no one's here to clean up after you not like that but yeah uh this is my little skincare routine i don't do the whole thing in the bathroom and if you want to see my full skincare routine you can go and check out that video but here i just cleanse my face with the face wash or whatever before getting into the shower i used to do it in the shower but the shower water isn't the best to consistently have on your skin so yeah i wash my face before i do that and then wipe it off with a paper towel like i said my skin was breaking out so that's why i'm like not using reusable like a rag or whatever i just use a paper towel and now it's time to actually get into the shower y'all we gotta get clean so i go into this little first part period and also i'm not about to like reveal myself i promise but there's two sections and i put my bag on this little hook or whatever and then i just get my soap out and then i put my towel a certain way so it's easier to grab or whatever and i don't have to like search for it in the bag while i'm wet okay but shower time so let's get into the water uh also if someone flushes the toilet while you're in the shower it's gonna get hot okay not cold it's going to get hotter and it's gonna burn you so yeah fun facts so now that i have all my stuff let's just go back to the room and finish up this routine y'all i was so off of my usual routine filming this video because i wasn't using my tripod but i put usually put my towel there before putting everything up and literally i forgot to take my shower shoes off i do not walk around my room with those on i have a mat for a reason i take off the wet shoes and this is when i realized i messed up like i was supposed to dry my feet earlier but let's put everything where it belongs dirty clothes in the laundry hamper yada 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 towels finally up and boom let's put this back where it belongs Okay. and then i just roll this back and put it there uh i don't take everything 
in the bathroom at one time that's why i don't keep my shower caddy packed that's just my personal preference but let's on to the tips so now i just want to get into just a few tips that you all can uh have when you're sharing a bathroom because y'all i know it can be a lot and i know i've already mentioned that you know make sure you have your shower shoes we do have toilet seat covers in our bathroom i would recommend getting some if you do not as well as y'all saw me consistently wiping away the water off from around the sink like those are just small things but the main points i guess is number one to tidy up your your own stuff we do have people who come and clean our bathrooms on a regular but it is your responsibility to make sure that the bathroom stays clean not just you by yourself but you know you play a part so make sure that you are cleaning up your stuff make sure that you are keeping everything fresh and number two don't leave nothing in the bathroom if it belongs to you don't leave it by itself don't leave nothing that you have in the bathroom okay because it's most likely gonna get thrown away or sat in a random spot and that's not really okay now my bathroom typically stays empty <laughs> um there's usually not a lot of people in there but another tip that i have is just to simplify your routines you really don't want to be in there more than what you have to be um we do know it's a lot of like bacteria like other people use the bathroom okay so like don't be in there longer than what you have to be unless you're just so so comfortable but even then, like go pee, you know, clean yourself. Um, you know, you want to have a good, let me take care of me day. Do that. I just don't recommend being in there much longer than what you have to. The third tip is do not leave your hair in the shower. Like common rule, honestly. Do not leave your hair in the shower. Um, it's very easily to it is very easy to clean it up. Even if you have my texture hair, straight texture hair, wavy type hair, it's easy to clean it up. Get some paper towel, a whole enough and literally go in circular motions over the floor and it'll get it up or like pick it make sure you pick it up that's all i'm saying get your hair up off the floor that's not cute it's not cool when you leave your stuff on the floor other people also have to go in there and then we ended up having to clean it up now if you do have to go in there and clean up somebody else's hair just make sure you could have gloves um yes or cleaning products of your own yeah i just don't do all that um i get some paper towel i put them on the bottom of my sh my shower shoes okay and then i just take my foot around the bathroom floor and pick it up and it's usually for the most part on my haul like straight hair so it's just real easy cleanup which i don't understand why they don't pick up their own stuff um but anyways yeah tip number four is you know how i said you don't need to spend more time in there than what you should so tip number four is don't be playing loud music in the bathroom like it's okay to play music if you know you're the only one in there you may turn it up just a little bit you know so you can really hear while you doing your stuff but remember that you're still on the hall with other people so we really don't want to hear your music outside um but for the most part it's okay don't be blasting it loud also we typically don't have multiple people showering at the same time so i guess my next tip would be to find a time that works for you for the bathroom because like i said it's not a lot of people in there when i go it's usually not a lot of people in there anyway it is like 19 or 20 girls on our hall i don't think it's that because we got some people with single rooms on our hall but let me just say it's enough people who live on this hall who have to share the bathroom so like we you but we don't typically have multiple people in the shower at the same time maybe two maybe two so just be mindful when you're playing your music but you are more than welcome to period um and if you're a christian don't be scared to play christian music in the bathroom okay period um that is not forcing your religion and overall it's really not as bad as some people say it really depends on the cleanliness of the people on your floor um yeah it's usually not loud in our bathroom it's very quiet it's usually not a lot of people in there but i've heard a few other stories about bathrooms on other halls and it's not like that so just be mindful of making sure you keep your stuff together you are being clean and that you are taking care of your priorities and in, in and out um so that other people's uncleanliness don't really affect you okay and if it does they will have a floor meeting about y'all's bathrooms like so try to avoid that keep everything clean encourage other people to keep it clean but y'all gonna have a good year <laughs> I promise and if you come to usm and if you know what dorm i stay in because after i move out or when it get close to the time of freshmen choosing their dorms i am gonna put like my dorm name on the videos because i don't plan on staying here another year and i feel like y'all need to know where i 
you know what I'm talking about so if you do plan on staying in this dorm it's really not that bad all of the bathrooms aren't really the same like some like we have a bathtub don't nobody use it I don't think but we have a bathtub some other floors just have extra showers so yeah just be mindful that you may have a bathtub you may not I don't recommend using it but I mean you can use it like a shower and it, I feel like it's the same just don't sit in it you know what I'm saying don't take a bath this is pretty much all the tips that I want to give y'all because like I said it hasn't really been that bad for me I didn't want to pay an extra thousand dollars just to have a bathroom connected to my room and honestly I don't regret it because I need that thousand dollars okay and um my bathroom situation is fine and that's all the tips that I have for you so let's now just go back into my morning routine uh which is very simple I don't do everything at night that I say and do in the morning you know what I tried to say but yeah let's go up to this morning routine and that'll be the end of the video so I love y'all and I hope that y'all have an amazing school year so here I am it is morning time and we're gonna go ahead with our routine I do not wear my bonnet in the bathroom because it's gonna fall off while I'm washing my face but the only thing I take in the morning is my face wash and my toothbrush and I don't wear my shower shoes I put on these little shoes right here my white shoes before going into the bathroom and I usually have to start off by using the bathroom so I'm gonna get my handy dandy uh, toilet seat cover I do have my own when they're out but yeah look how pretty okay whatever uh, wash your hands okay wash your hands more than once this is probably my second time washing them okay period and then clear up the water yeah like we said but now it's time to brush our teeth again all i do in the morning is brush my teeth wash my face you know basic becky i don't do my i do my full skincare routine in the mornings but just in my bedroom like i said i don't spend extra time in the bathroom that i don't need to so this is pretty much it make sure i wipe up everything clear my face make sure it's dry with my little paper towel and yeah throw it away no one's here to clean up after you but i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i love y'all so much